Peace, prosperity, salutations. Rocking with the brand, real life, real talk. Mike Boogie's the first one up. Let's give you a wave. J Bill, 84, Jose Delera, Godlike, TY, Big Lashes, Big Lash, what's good? Ryan Thomas, Banner 954, Silent Blade 97, Jace 98, One Big Coop, Tulsa 76, Ab Malik, what's good? J Bill, yes, Checks Ah, Love and Light back to you, Phyllis. 7758 Professor Mays I see you Khalil Snaps XCV Barbershop Okay Empress K I see you Queen Foster Ambitions Bad Guy Nice Watch uh, Puppet Killer I think Kiss Me Hayes Hello Peace to you Queen uh, Few Feud mo, Feud M Something They Life His Wife <laughs> they life his wife. I like that. Okay, that's what's up. Marcellus, I see you. What's going on, black man? Uh, boy, three DDY, John Monty, baby. Uh, I, yes, moth. Okay, so Empress K says Detroit is in the building. Yes, you are. Uh, Alexandria, Louisiana is here. That Kamala show, how black men are truly under attack. Yes, melanated minds. I see you, queen. Uh, Mrs. Smith, 35, Print, P. and Nicole, Nurse Practitioner, Professor Mays. So, peace, prosperity, salutations. You're now rocking with the brand. This is Real Life, Real Talk. These are the days of our lives. I wanted to get on and do a short segment. If this is your first time rocking with the brand, you can go to my webpage, www.uremakarama.com. You can go there to actually get uh, download my app via iOS or Android. You can also... Uh, Go to our Unity Walk page. We have Unity Walks coming up uh, in Brooklyn, New York, August 18th. That's a Saturday from 12 noon to 3 p.m. That is a Sunday, August 18th, a Sunday, not a Saturday. It's a Sunday this time. Uh, and so I'm hoping that the family can be out. I'm going to do my best to be there. All the family that came out to the Unity Walk in Kansas City, Kansas, thank you so much. Thank you. It was awesome. We literally had more people there from outside the city that came in. And this was the National Unity Walk, so I get it. But we actually had more people outside the city that came in than actually were there. Um, and uh, Jeter is better. Jeter is better. Uh, uh, actually, we had... Uh, if she gets on, shout out to the Queen Latoya. She actually came in from California, uh, her and her daughter. So that was special. Uh, and we had people there. Uh, shout out to Dr. Feelgood, came up from Houston, Texas. Uh, shout out to uh, Carenzia Richmond, who's been rocking with me for years now. Carenzia has been following my pages both facebook twitter instagram for years she came up from uh arkansas uh had brothers uh uh ernest brown shout out to ernest brown came down him and his partner came down from minneapolis minnesota uh who else did we have come out we had some people come up from memphis tennessee shout out to zoe dread orlando florida came up shout out to uh shout out to dj demos dj demos alabama came up so uh k rich there you are k rich i see you queen so uh I just appreciate everybody that came out. It was a great event, uh, but it was a day of love. It was a day of talking solutions. It was a day of building. Uh, and honestly, I'm going to be honest. These are the brothers and sisters that I want to work with. These are the brothers and sisters that we need to build with. They took time out and traveled. They're like, yo, we ain't going to wait for you to get here. Come on. We're going to come see you. And this is what this event was about. So I'm appreciative to them. Now, I got to talk on this and, uh, uh, I, you know, I gotta, I gotta bring this up because, um, I just think it's important, uh, signs and symbols for the conscious minds. Here's the thing. Uh, so we had a great event. Want to see me do a song with black thought? I would love that black thoughts in my top five, my top five changes like every two to three years, it changes. But this year, Black Thought is in there. I've gone back and checked out some of his work. Black Thought is, he's that dude. 
he's that dude. I love Black Thought and his lyrical content, what he puts out. Uh, he, he does it masterfully. And you're talking about, I'm a lyricist myself, and his shit is masterful. Like, when we talk about people going down in the history of the game, um, you know, we would be, it would be a sad deal if Black Thought didn't make that list or if he was forgotten. Masterful work that that brother does. And the way he delivers his delivery, um, I mean, it's, it's I, a lot of people would sleep on Black Thought. So, Unity Walk. And you know, I always like to give a teaching moment. I always like to give a teaching moment. And I think we as melanated people, um, we sometimes, man, we, we, we do some, and this is why, this is why, this is why we kind of look, look at one another with the side eye sometimes, especially, especially when you're supposed to be in the quote unquote conscious community. So, Here's the deal. We're out for the unity walk. We're out for the unity walk. Brothers is talking. We building. Shout out also to Tony Hope, the brother that runs the, the Kendaro uh, Museum up there in Kendaro Ruins where we have the unity walk. That brother has been holding it down since his brother's passing in 2015. And he's been doing a great job. We're going to start a fundraising campaign for them very soon uh, so that they can get that. Uh, uh, get that museum fixed up, uh, get it uh, refurbished, uh, because those historical sites, we need to keep them. But look, we out for the Unity Walk. Brothers is kicking it. Now, the Unity Walk, it's about to start. People are showing up. I look down the street. This is real, man. And I hope, I hope some of these brothers get on and, and share this video if you can. But I look down the street because cars is coming in. All of a sudden, I see the brothers getting out with their purple shirts on. Hebrew Israelites. Yes, indeed. I see. <laughs> I see the Hebrew Israelites getting out and they getting out deep. So I'm like, all right, that's what's up. They getting out deep. Then I see them handing out flyers. So I'm like. I'm looking, okay. So we there in a slight cipher, talking, building. Brothers pull up. Yo, we'd like to we'd like to tell you a little bit here. Handed out some flyers? I took one too. Then the brother goes into a spill about how we are the Hebrew Israelites. How we this, we that, we can be found here in the Bible and there. Then he says, yeah, if you don't mind, I'd like to give a little, uh, uh, give, tell you a little bit about us and our organization and then we got to go. Hold up, pump the brakes, dog. Hold up, pump the brakes. Wait a minute. So I had to cut in. Yo, I'm Yurima Karama. I'm the founder of the Unity Walk. And this is what I said. This is what I said, exactly verbatim. I said, I'm a spoken word poetry. I've traveled the country. I've been in some poetry slams. I've won a couple. Some of y'all don't know that. You need to get, well, I don't have the, the I don't have the CD with me. Uh, uh, contradictions in love and uh, contradictions in love and pain. Uh, 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 Yurima Karama, spoken word CD. So I say, yo, I've been to spoken word events. And it's always disgusting and distasteful when a poet enters the room, spits they piece, and fucking leaves. Like, fuck the rest of y'all. I spit my shit. Now I'm out. So I said, bro, if you ain't going to stay, no, we, no, you can't speak. We got speakers that scheduled to speak today. You ain't even on the list. But to have the audacity to come to somebody's event that you ain't. I mean, I don't mind brothers being there, you black. But our organization, the Unity Walk organization, we're not a religious organization. The five principles that we adhere to, the five that we adhere to, in this book, please, my book, the five that we adhere to, it's called, please, 
Black politics, land, economics, education. It's not called clear religion. I didn't name it clear. It's named please. Because this stands for the spirituality. See, we ain't dealing with that religious shit, man. We ain't dealing with that shit. So, nigga, get your motherfucking mind right. Now, if you have a, a religious affiliation... Oh, shit. I done knocked over the damn... Yeah, if you have a religious affiliation... Hey, the reason I did the spirituality is because... I want brothers and sisters to come. I don't care what your religious ideology. I want black Jew, black Hebrew, Israelite, but NOI, a uh, Moorish American, black Christian, black Baptist. But this precedes all of that shit. And if, if, if this can't precede all of that, then I'm not fucking with you. That's because that's what our organization is based on. The other thing is this. Yeah, and you, you all need to cop that book too, it's fire. But the other thing is this. The other thing is this. And this is how I'm getting down. Because Negroes think they slick. If you don't support our organization, if you don't, and you make it a point that you ain't supporting, but you want people to support your shit, don't look this way, nigga. Don't look this way. Nigga, support goes both ways. Because because if I wanna if I wanna get involved in that, if I wanna get a DJ Demos, thank you family for coming out. If I wanna get involved in that, then I'll go fuck with Cardi B and them. Because that's how them niggas move. They want all the support, but they ain't giving nobody no goddamn support. So if I wanna get on that page, we on a new page as melanated people. You want support, you're gonna give support. And if you ain't giving support, fuck you. Fuck you straight out. Because I'm tired of that shit. People want to come. They want something from you. It's funny to me, man. I get inboxes all the time. I get inboxes. These are the inboxes. Yeah, I got them up out of there, though. Uh, uh, Silent Blade 97. Yeah, we got them up out of there when I told them, no, we ain't going for that. Because people will try you. They just gonna come like they gonna bogart in and give information and then you ain't, you gonna bounce? No, nah, nigga. No. Nah. No, nah, if you gonna bounce, bounce now. We don't even wanna hear your information. If you ain't gonna stay, you ain't gonna come and, 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 and say what you gotta say and then leave. Like you ain't gonna support us. Fuck that. Get the fuck out. No, you can't speak. I run this. I'm the founder. And this is our day. We got this spot out here. You didn't get this spot. You didn't take the time out to put the work in. You didn't take the time out to do the promotion. But you're going to come off of my work, off of my administrative team's work. You're going to come and try to get your thing off after we've done all the work. People do that on my feeds. And I block them. They do that on my feed. Wait until I done build up almost 60,000 people. And then people come in, oh, check out my CD, dog. And then I go through my Rolodex. Oh, nigga, you ain't bought my CD, though. You ain't checked out my shit. Beep, delete. Oh, man, go to this web page, www, beep, 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 and come over here. Wait a minute. Have you supported Yurima Karama? Have you supported the Unity Walk? Have you supported over here? Uh, beep. Get the fuck up out of here. No, because niggas think they slick. The other thing is this support thing. This support, if you ain't giving it, you can't get it. Bottom line, you ain't giving it, you can't get it. People get it, people inbox me all the time. Uh, Yurima, man, I got this great idea. Yurima, I'm working on this plan, man. I think that this could be used to save black people. Yurima, Yurima this, Yurima that. You know what I never hear? Never, never hear it. You know what I never hear? Yurima. What can I do to help your organization move further? I have an organization, Yurima. Much love to you, Melissa Rashad. I have an organization, uh, Yurima. What can I do to help your organization? Or what can we do to work together? 
I've heard that one time from a brother recently. What can we do to work together? And you know what? You know who else I heard it from? Uh, a, a sister who was out on her back, man. This sister was almost homeless. The Unity Walk reached out and helped her. She reached out to me and said, Eurema, you my last hope. I didn't reach out to organizations in my city and I can't get no help. The Unity Walk sent that woman, the Unity Walk sent that woman clothes for her children, sent food. See, this is the shit Unity Walk does behind the scenes that I don't even talk about. This is the shit we do behind the scenes because we love our people. That woman said, that woman said, Eurema, if, if I, I just want to play a part in the unity walk to help you all move forward, you ain't even got to pay me. I just want to be a part of it. She's the only one, a person on their back, man. So don't reach out to me talking about, oh, you got all these. How can you, how can we help one another? If that's not the conversation, how can we help one another? Because basically what I hear when you say that is fuck your organization, man. I got something that's better. The problem you got, though, nigga, is you ain't got 60,000 or a half a million people. The problem is, nigga, you ain't built up no social media standing to where you can make a call or you can say, hey, I need get, we're going to have a unity walk here. We're going to do this here. And people come in from all over the country. So you're going to try to get in on my platform to do that. Come on, man. Stop that. Stop. You ain't doing that shit to Jay-Z or Kanye, Kunye. You ain't doing that shit to them because they ain't going to allow that shit. So don't try me, man. Try me. If you want to come and partake in a unity walk, we love that. That's what we about. That's what we about. But I'll be damned if you're going to come in and think you're going to spit some shit and then move out. Fuck out of here. No, we ain't trying to hear you niggas. We ain't trying to hear you niggas. No, because you can't tell us nothing at that point. This is family. This is family. Family. This is what family does. Family sits down at the dinner table. They eat together. They break bread together. They talk about issues together. They talk about solutions they talk about who's going to go out, whose job it is to go out and do what. Niggas that been invited over for dinner, niggas eat and leave. We family over here. We ain't inviting niggas over. You either family or you not. Because we know that niggas who get invited, they eat and then they leave. Damn, dog, it's a good meal. I got to go, though, man. I got to work in the morning, man. Great, great. Oh, my God. Man, sis, that shit was that shit was fire, man. Woo, shit. Let me kick my feet up for a minute. Nigga, we got, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We got work to do. What, wait, wait. Oh, oh dog, man, I got to go. I got, wait, nigga, you, ain't, you can't even put the dish in the goddamn sink? Uh, uh, yeah. Come on, man. Come on, man. Stop. So, yeah, we had to nip that shit in the bud. But I just found that interesting that, <clears throat> you know, these brothers. And then the brother said, well, you know, we go around the country. I said, yeah, we go. Our organization goes around the country, too. Well, I mean, brother, we was in Louisiana, just got done with Louisiana. I said, yeah, brother, I was just in New York last week in Kansas City this week. So what you saying, nigga? What you saying? Your, your organization doing work? Our organization's doing work. The problem you got is that your organization didn't get this spot today, Kendara Ruins. My organization did. Since niggas don't want to work together, this is the games we got to play. Yeah. The problem you got today, nigga, you can't speak because your organization didn't do the necessary thing to get this spot. See, had you done that or had you reached out, because this is, you know, when I seen them pull up, I immediately knew. I immediately knew my spidey senses went off and I immediately knew I said to myself, this is exactly what happened. They, they heard all the promotion and advertising that I was doing. They saw the flyers. They 
made a mental note. We're going to go to this event to push our agenda. They already had it planned. When I seen all them brothers getting out of their vehicle, when I see, I, I knew immediately this was planned. They knew. And, and this is how these brothers move. They're going to move in a fashion. They're going to try to take advantage. They're going to try to take advantage. Oh, we got a big crowd over here. Okay, we can go get our thing off. No, come on, fam. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Come on, man. Stop that shit. You can't get that off over here. Not with me. Not with me. And I'm so thankful that I was there. So thankful. So, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it is what it is. DJ Demos, you was there. DJ Demos was there. He, he, he was right there. Like, yo, come on, man. Come on. So uh, let's keep that in mind, man. You want to work? Let's work together. But all this, all this, same thing. I got a post up right now talking about please. Brother reached out to me. This was months back. I don't know this brother. Never met the brother. Now listen to this. Don't know the brother. Never met the brother. The brother reached out and said, hey man, uh, get together and talk, man. Talk about what we can do. Okay, great. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, a couple of appointments or an appointment got canceled. Next call I get. Next call I get. Yo, bro, uh, there's a uh, we having a rally over in uh, we having a rally over in Dayton this week. Ku Klux Klan showing up. We going to stand down. Uh, uh, yeah, we need you there. Yeah, bro, I don't I don't uh, I, I mean, I'll try to be there. I'll try to be there. But first of all, I got other shit I do. I'm going to be in Cincinnati that day. I mean, but I'll do my best to be there. I guess I'm just supposed to jump. So this is what happens. This is what happens. People will do that to try to discredit. People will do that to try to discredit. So I didn't go. I couldn't make it. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to waste my energy standing out at a Ku Klux Klan rally, one, so the feds can be there taking pictures of everybody, one, not that the feds don't have my picture, because I'm sure they do, this shit been snitched on, they've been watching video after video, they got a bunch of my content, but I'm not going to be out there, secondly, two is this, two is this, brothers need to, brothers need to realize and put ego aside, if you say a person is a leader, would you put them in that situation? Would you put your would you put them in that situation? If the Moors were going to if the Moors were going to rally, would they put Prophet Noble Drew Ali? Would they put him up front and center? Say, get on out here with us, Prophet. So so that's one thing, and I'm not no, I'm not making a comparison between me and Prophet Noble Drew Ali because I'm not a prophet. I've often stated that I don't march. Not saying that other people shouldn't. Because I think there's steps, stages, and degrees. There's levels to this shit. Everybody plays a certain part. Some people aren't going to march. Some people are going to sit behind a computer and figure some shit out that we need. Some algorithms. They ain't going to march. And they're not supposed to. Some people is going to be in the kitchen cooking because the warriors got to eat. So everybody plays a position. I'm not going to march because I think it's a waste of time. So when I don't show up for the for the for the rally, then the brother hit the other day on, on one of my on on my feed talking about, oh, man, you funny, funny. I thought you said I thought you said you don't march and all of that. But I see you doing a unity walk. Bro, have you ever gone? Have you ever attended a unity walk? I've had 10 of them in this city right here. I've never seen you at one. So you're making a speculation about the unity walk and you've never even attended one. You probably actually think it's a walk, right? See, but because you haven't attended, you're making a speculation based on something that you think, not what you know. I already told you I don't march. 
but you go ahead and march because I believe it's my job to actually unite black communities. We ain't marching over here. We ain't marching. But if you haven't attended a unity walk, that's on that's on you. That ain't on me. Or have you even talked to somebody who has attended one? See, but what they do, Park Ball Network, Peace, Richard Johns, what they do is they try to, they'll use anything that they can to try to discredit. Because one of the things that that person said was, man, see these people online. That's, no, I do more than online shit. I do more than online. This is just part of the function that I do. And I use online, I think, to the best of my ability. And until we get a media outlet where we can get our message out in mass, in mass quantity to the people, until we can get that, because right now, the last I checked, these crackers control it all. They control the media, which is one of the reasons that our people are not on code because the message ain't getting to them. Just think if there was black programming around this country that showed people in communities helping the people. White media ain't showing that. They ain't showing the brothers and sisters that get dirt deep into the community and actually help and service. They ain't showing that. Black white media ain't showing the businessman who's been in his business, the black businessman who's been in the roughest part of his community for 30 years in his, in his business has still thriving and successful. They ain't showing that. They show the worst of us. They ain't showing how we build together. They ain't showing that shit. They only show the terrible aspects. That's why we messed up as a people and they know it. They know that if they constantly show black women getting along, not on no racket, on some ratchet shit, but on some we love one another type shit, if they showed that, I'm not talking about love and ha hip hop and housewives of Atlanta. What if they had a show? What if they had a show out called Black Women on Black Women Love? How we work together, build together, and how we go hard for our black men together. What if they had that? White media knows if they had that, it would be game over. Because then that trickles down to our children. What if they had a show where black men were not in competition with one another, but were actually working with one another to build? We would have pyramids in our communities. And they know it, so they don't show that. They don't show all the black babies that come up missing. They don't show that. I do. They don't show the black women that come up missing. They don't show that. So black media on social media does. I do. Other brothers. Red Pill does. Tazar Path does. Squirrel Foot. We show that shit. Because they ain't going to show that. So I use social media for what it's supposed to be used for. But you get people on here where they want to use any means that they can to discredit. Ah, see? I called him out to a rally. He didn't come. No, and you shouldn't have gone either. What did you accomplish? What did you accomplish? What was accomplished for the black community? I mean, it was a great show. I got the pictures. Great. But it did. But it. But did it move us forward economically? Did it move us forward socially? Did it move us forward environmentally? Was that picture that I got, that great entertainment that I got, was that enough to start a black business over there? Because if you can show me that, then I'll say, okay, you, hey, hey, great work. We need more rallies then. But up until now, rallies ain't been doing that. I get up close and personal with the people. That's what my organization does. I get up close and personal. I want to talk to you because I love you like that. I want to know your story. I want to sit down and get deep into you. Because that's the difference. Because once I can feel you, I can move for you. And once we start to feel one another, we can move for one another. And I can tell you right now, one thing I know, and this is systematic. That's how I know them rallies. That shit don't matter. 
Because if you ain't doing nothing to change the system, these crackers got a system. They got a system in place. And the damn KKK is a pawn in that system too. They got a system. And unless you're talking about making our own system, creating our own system that our people can feed into. That's where I'm at. So I want to get all up in you mentally. I want to know you. That's why I'm moving like I do. These are systems we dealing with, man. This is a design plan. It would be different if what is happening in Kansas was only Kansas and maybe uh, Watts, California. Those were the only two spots in the country that that was happening to. But this shit is systemic, man. This goes across the country. Every black community I go into, it's the same thing. That's how you know it's a design plan. And that's how you know we have to plan together in order to come up out of it. This shit is designed. You don't find this kind of poverty just in one location. You don't find how they have taken how uh, black communities, every fucking black community I go to at one time was prosperous. At one time it was thriving. And now they all dilapidated. You think that shit is by happenstance? Hell no. This is a fucking design plan across the board. They moved the resources, extracted, took the resources and, mis and misplaced them someplace else. That's why you can go into Garden City, Long Island and then step not even two feet over a certain part. You can be in Garden City and see million dollar homes. And boom. All of a sudden, you in fucking straight poverty. You don't think that's by happen? You think that's by happenstance? That shit is designed like that, man. And it's the same thing in Detroit. Same thing. You think it's by happenstance that certain parts of Flint, Michigan, you can't drink the water? I've been up to Flint several times. I got a good friend that stays up there. And one, one of the parts that he stays in, you can, the water's, the water's very clean. You can drink it right out of the faucet. And I'm like, damn, why? You can't drink the water in Flint, but you can. And he said, yeah, there's a dividing line. You think that shit is by happenstance? Don't think that all of Flint got fucked up water. Because they got a wealthy part up there that don't. They water is good. Come on, man. So don't tell me about a rally. Don't tell me about marching. Don't tell me. We're talking about systems. Baltimore, same way. Columbus, Ohio, same way. Liberty City, Florida, same way. Come on, man. So let's get to work. We are about this work. And let me tell you something. Off top, you can't discredit authenticity. You can't. The people, the people recognize the work. You can't discredit authenticity. There's a lot of shit out here you can discredit. You can try to discredit my work all you want. Good luck. Let me know how that works out for you. And while you taking time out to discredit my work, I'm going to keep working. Because <laughs> it's, 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 I mean, honestly... You see these ancestors around me? You might not see them unless you got third eye vision. So why are you taking the time out to discredit my work? You know why I'm going to keep working? Fuck, it's above me now. Niggas. Yeah, peace, prosperity, salutations. I love you all. We going to holler soon. I'm going in. I'm going. I'm right now. I'm going into the barber. Black barber. Six o'clock appointment. I'm out. One.